Yes, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal Mayor fealty! No Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment! It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy knife, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Aha! I thought I recognized you. like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. 
Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. I hasten home. It's not my duty. Learn your place, Paul. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Quite cluttered. Pray leap over aught that poses a hindrance to you. Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Shields 
offer welcome protection from attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, or is it? Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you alright? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I'll not force you to do the treatment, but I'd at least like it. If you find your strength like this, buy the character or have a bit of green rubbish. When one of the fiends comes for you, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Brander attacks are more destructive but will leave you vulnerable. So seize your chance to land one. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast ever more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. We can but hope that the Sovereign will rid us of it ere long. No, ma!
welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Pawns are known as crossers of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. I will see to it that the law is upheld.
told us that someone comes to me. They have I ought to be getting home. Soon as my ship's done. I've got wares of every ilk. If you see what you like, best buy while you can. Hope to see you again here long. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time.
do come again. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. Are you certain you're happy to have me along? I pray my efforts aid your cause. Are you fit to travel? Then let's... A visit to Melv might jog your memory, Master. It seems the village yet reels from the dragon's assault. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. Monsters and bandits are a plague upon my business. Much obliged. Hey, oh. you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? 
Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. We must make haste if we are to arrive in time to assist. Few can weather a harpy assault unaided. Shall we hasten to Sir Ricardo's rescue? Ah, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. In traversing other worlds, I came to know... Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, the early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Focus your strength, Arisen! ourselves to become innocent. Take each trial as it comes. Cannot strike them. Get down here, you feathered fiends. <laughs> Is that all of them? You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. 
I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. I suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Hail, friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. A visit to Melv might jog your memory, Master. It seems the village yet reels from the dragon's assault. Then follow me. I'll lead the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Go again. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Follow me, if you would. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. to think of it. We're all of differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none.
Pray, follow me. So this is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. Pity about the Arisen. Met. One, have a gander as you pass by. Pleasure doing business with you. I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. Tis not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. It is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate.
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. I'm sorry to hear that, though I cannot say I am surprised. Your burns could easily have killed you outright. A great many were bathed in the dragon's flames that day. All perished, save you. You must be special, indeed. How else could you have survived to return here? Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Not 